Tina from the Frankfurt Community Public Library. It's so good to have you all here today. I hope you are having a great day. Let's start our fun with our hello song. Hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? How are you today? I'm fine. How about you? I'm fine. How about you? I'm fine. How about you? How are you today? This week our theme is squirrels and acorns. I love squirrels. I have bird and squirrel feeders in my backyard. Here are a couple of pictures that I took of some squirrels that like to visit my backyard. Do you have squirrels that visit your backyard? I love to watch them run up and down the trees and chase each other. They look like they're having so much fun. Do you know what squirrels like to eat? Do you think they eat broccoli? Or maybe chocolate chip cookies? No, squirrels like to eat nuts and acorns. Our first book is titled Nuts to You by Lois Englert and published by Harcourt Incorporated. See that squirrel in our tree? I think he'd rather live with me. I'll wait a while. He could be shy, or maybe he likes it way up high. Look! Here he comes, trying to hide. He can't wait to get inside. He's in the flowers. He's really bad. He's digging up bulbs. My mom is mad. There he goes, up the bricks, on his claws. He steals seeds and eats with his paws. Walking on tiptoe, tail head held high, he brushes my plants as he zips by. In our window box, watching us eat, he sits on the flowers and he begs for a treat. I opened my window for some fresh air, but I forgot the screen had a tear. When I came back, guess what I found? That squirrel was there looking around. some nuts and ran out the door, tapped one on the sidewalk, and I left a few more. Nuts to you, I shouted, loud as I could. That squirrel peeked out. I knew he would. He looked to the left and he looked to the right. He ran down the bricks and took a big bite. those nuts and he scampered away but he'll get hungry again someday. I'll keep nuts in my pockets one or two and when I see him I'll say nuts to you. I have a cute felt board activity about five little acorns and one hungry squirrel. Five little acorns hanging on a tree. The first one said, I'm as happy as can be. The second one said, it feels like fall. The third one said, the best season of all. The fourth one said, the squirrel is around. The fifth one said, hey, what's that sound? Then up ran the squirrel and crunch, crunch, crunch. The five little acorns became his lunch. 
Do you know where squirrels get their food? Do you think they shop at the grocery store like we do? No, they have to look around outside for their food. They scurry all over the ground, up and down trees, looking for nuts, acorns, and other things to eat. They spend a lot of their time looking and saving their food for winter. The next story I have to read to you is titled The Busy Squirrel by Nancy Tafuri and published by Simon and Schuster Books. The leaves were falling. The air was getting cold. It was time for Squirrel to get ready for winter. Squeak, 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 said Mouse. Will you nibble a pumpkin with us? Mm, but the Squirrel couldn't. He was so busy. Sweet, sweet, said the bird. Will you rest on a branch with us? But Squirrel couldn't. He was so busy. Girl, girl, said the frog. Will you hop rocks with us? But Squirrel couldn't. He was so busy. Meow, meow, said the cat. Will you lie in the sun with us? But Squirrel couldn't. He was so busy. Roof, roof, said the dog. Will you run in the field with us? But Squirrel couldn't. He was so busy. called the owl. Will you watch the moon with us? But Squirrel couldn't. He was fast asleep. That little squirrel was so busy that he missed out on a lot of fun. Let's have some fun together with my Mr. Squirrel felt board activity. Mr. Squirrel, Mr. Squirrel, what do you see? I see a pumpkin looking at me. Mr. Squirrel, Mr. Squirrel, what do you see? I see a yellow leaf looking at me. Mr. Squirrel, Mr. Squirrel, what do you see? I see an acorn in a tree looking at me. Mr. Squirrel, Mr. Squirrel, what do you see? I see a turkey looking at me. I have a story about two squirrels who are tired of eating nuts all the time. It is titled, Please No More Nuts, written by Jonathan Finsky and published by Penguin Random House. One nut, two nuts, three nuts, four. Here are four nuts. Please take more nuts. Take five, take six, take seven, take eight, take nine, take ten. Take the whole plate. I used to love nuts. I adored them. And I'll admit... I used to hoard them. I stuffed my brother's chubby cheeks with nuts to keep us fed for weeks. Back then, I was a nut for nuts, but now I cannot stand their guts.
It's nuts for breakfast. It's nuts for brunch. It's nuts for snack and nuts for lunch. Nuts for supper every day. Take them. Make them go away. Nuts and milkshakes. Nuts in stew. Nuts to slurp and nuts to chew. Nuts on pancakes. Nuts on pies. If I eat one more nut, I'll cry. Take them please and take them quick. The sight of nuts just makes me sick. I'll bag them up. I'll make it easy. Hurry up. I'm feeling queasy. It may not be your birthday, but here's a gift. Another nut. And guess what's hiding in my paws? Another present. Just because. Take this nut too. Wow, what a beauty. No need to thank us. It's our duty. And lucky you, so many more are waiting here behind this door. Nuts, nuts, nuts. Oh, what a treat. So many nuts for you to eat. Nuts for breakfast, nuts for brunch, nuts for snack and nuts for lunch. Nuts for supper every day. They're all for you. Hip, hip, hooray. Yep, all for you. Just take a look. Hey, wait, come back. Don't close the book. Wow, I think I would be tired of eating nuts if I had to eat them every day for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I'm glad I'm not a squirrel. Next, I have a song about lost acorns. My acorns are over in the meadow. My acorns are behind the tree. I've forgotten where I've put my acorns. Oh, bring back my acorns to me. Bring back, bring back, bring back my acorns to me, to me. Bring back, bring back, bring back my acorns to me. Now, where did I hide my acorns? Have you ever thought who a squirrel might have as a friend? We have each other for friends, and we have other people that we know that are our friends. In this book, titled Bear and Squirrel Are Friends, Squirrel is friends with a bear. This book was written by Deb Paludi, and it was published by Simon and & Schuster Books. It's true that bear was much bigger than squirrel, and that a bear will sometimes eat a squirrel for dinner, but Bear and Squirrel were friends. They had a lot in common. They liked together acorns and blueberries. Bear was very strong. He would shake the trees until the nuts rained down on the forest floor. Squirrel was very fast. He zipped from nut to nut, collecting them for supper. Squirrel make a cozy nest of leaves and twigs, and Squirrel helped Bear tidy up his den. And they both liked to play games. The other 
squirrels asked, Why are you hanging around with a bear? He'll eat you up for a midnight snack. Squirrel said, Don't be silly. Bear is my friend. The other be bears said squirrel would make a good midnight snack. Bear said, that's ridiculous. Squirrel is my friend. Squirrel and Bear ignored the other animals' remarks and went off to play. Guess that song. Oh, I know this one. And when Bear settled in for a long winter nap, Squirrel waited patiently for his friend to wake up. And he waited. And waited until spring finally arrived and Bear began to stir. good to see you, said Squirrel. It's good to see you too, said Bear. You look different, said Squirrel. You look different too, said Bear. You look delicious, said Bear. Why, thank you, Bear, said Squirrel. I mean, you look like you would taste delicious, said Bear. They looked at each other for a long time. Whoa. I'm sorry, Squirrel, I can't help myself, said Bear. Excuse me. But Bear couldn't stop. I'm sorry, Squirrel. I didn't save any. It's okay, Bear. I can make more, said Squirrel. Bear ate all the blueberry pancakes that Squirrel made until not a morsel was left. He ate every last berry. He even licked the plate clean. But he did not eat squirrel. What you didn't really think I'd eat squirrel, did you? Friends don't eat friends. More pancakes? I have one more felt board activity to share with you before it's time for us to go. Gray squirrel, gray squirrel, swish your bushy tail. Gray squirrel, gray squirrel, Put a nut between your toes. Gray squirrel, gray squirrel, wrinkle up your little nose. Gray squirrel, gray squirrel, swish your bushy tail. I had such a good time with everybody today. Be sure to come back next week and visit. Our theme is owls. It's time for our goodbye song. Sing along with me. Now it's time to say goodbye, say goodbye, say goodbye. Now it's time to say goodbye, see you all.